So the next question is, how do we get the leaves to fall off the tree in a natural way? We can't have them all fall off at once, that would look weird. And how do we build in something to give us control so they can fall, you know, a few frames sooner than they do now, a few frames later, how, how that can be easily adjustable. Um, for performance sake, I'm going to go and turn my max count down just a little bit just so we can move around a little more easily and you can always up this change it at the end um, so the method I ended up going with to have control over them falling is using a goal PP which is essentially attaching each particle to this surface zero is not attached one is attached and each particle gets that attribute and we can control them based on that so if their goal is now zero gravity will affect them and pull them down so to do that can select our particle in our surface go to particles goal and in our particle shape now if I go to the attribute editor there's a goal tab just expand this a little more and where did it go here we go goal is at one so if I rewind and hit play you can see how it kind of fills up a little more differently and a thousand isn't enough to fill it all the way because what it's doing is it's putting a particle at each vertex so if I show in particles you can see how they're very grid based so the goal PP has a couple attributes with it that will give you control over the placement of each particle along this entire surface. And those are found in, if you go to add a general dynamic attribute, if you go to particle, there's goal U and goal V and there's also parent U and parent V so what parent U and parent V allow you to do is to base their position along the UV space of this surface so if I go to panels and look at my UV texture editor with my surf surface you can see the UVs are really bad but the point is that zero from zero to one in U is this way and zero to one in V is vertical. So if we plug in a random value between zero and one in both, it'll probably land on the surface, spawn a particle there, and then we have a leaf there instead of this grid based current situation that we have. So to change that, we can select our particle, and I added those attributes. So if I look in max um, per particle attributes, I have parent u, parent v, goal u, and goal v. If I go in and actually want a creation expression, I'm going to put this just at the top because this is kind of the order of operations. We want parent u to equal random value between 0 and 1. Make sure this is spelled right.
and the same for V so I'll copy and paste swap my letters out and do the same but now this time I want the goal U to equal parent U and the same thing for V so I'll copy paste swap my U's for V's you can see we have expressions on them now if we re rewind and hit play now we're back to that random placement again and since these are end particles anything close is going to start colliding with each other so what I ended up doing was just having collisions off self collisions off until they started falling which we will get to later on so if I hide the canopy and I show in particles so we can just see what the tree's doing we're back to here.